Hey, I was just reading a story by Paul Metzl called My Awesome Summer by P. Mantis. In this story, Paul Mitzel helps us understand the life cycle of a praying mantis by having a praying mantis tell her life story through journaling. It's a pretty cool story. Let's check it out. My Awesome Summer by P. Mantis Written by Paul Metzel May 17th I was born today! It's a beautiful, sunny spring day. May 18th. It was so crowded in the egg case. Really, really crowded. Me and around 150 praying mantis brothers and sisters, here I am. I don't have any wings yet, so I can't fly. May 19th. It's okay that I can't fly. The bush I was born on has aphids all over it. Yum! Soft and delicious. I'm, I'm down here. May 24th. Some big birds landed near me. I did my cool trick pretending to be a stick blowing in the wind. They flew away. Whoa-oh. June 2nd. All the aphids are gone, and I'm hungry, growing so fast. I ate one of my brothers. Okay, maybe two. June 4th. I ate another brother. And maybe one of my sisters, too. I grew again. I shed my skin. June 27th. I still don't have wings, so I walk and jump around everywhere. I start to explore the neighborhood. A big animal came sniffing around. I did my cool trick again. You can't see me, I'm a stick. Fourth, pip squeak. I've got some sharp teeth. My razor arms are super fast too. A grasshopper hopped right next to me. I grabbed him before he could even say Jiminy Cricket. July 17th. I grew some more. I shed my skin again. I still can't fly. So more walking, jumping, exploring. July 19th. I ran into one of my brothers. He tried to eat me. So I ate him. Sorry, brother. July 19th. 27th. Sometimes I like to hang upside down, mostly when I shed my skin, but other times just for fun. I'm getting pretty big now. Unlike other insects, I can turn my head to see what's behind me. Hello! July 29th. Praying? Yeah, I'm praying. Praying something tasty comes along but thinks I would stick. August 2nd. I grew again. I shed my skin again. I hung upside down to get my skin off. I felt a little naked until my new skin hardened. August 9th. Ah, oh, I love summer. Long hot days, cool nights. I like to hide in the shade and eat bugs near the flowers. I chewed the head off of a bee. Not my favorite. August 15th. Finally, I can fly. Almost got eaten by a bat. Landed on a branch and made like a stick until it flew away. August 25th. I nearly walked into a spider web. Spiders scare me. This one wanted to eat me. I jumped away as fast as I could. September 5th. I grew again. I shed my skin too. Last one for the summer. I forget. I think it's eight or nine times. September 25th. Fall is here. There's a chill in the air. I'm looking for the perfect branch. Not very hungry and I'm kind of moving pretty slow. 
October 14th. I found it, the bush where I was born. I laid eggs, put foam around them. It hardened and made an egg case. Hundreds of praying mantises will be born in the spring. October 17th. I'm gonna lie down now and take a really long nap. Goodbye. Wasn't that just a fascinating story? I learned things about praying mantises I never knew before. In fact, I loved how she told her story with feelings and facts. And she used the calendar to help us understand how long it took for her life. I want to challenge you to rate the story, fill in the stars, but also take time to write one thing about your life today. Start journaling the way Praying Mantis did in our story. Good luck!